Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a house on Roblox Studio. First, I'm going to close the toolbox because we do not need that because we shouldn't be using any free models. It's a sin for Roblox builders and just Roblox developers overall. Using free models is bad. I'm also going to get a rig of my own character so I can, you know, use it when I'm building to get a good idea of how big the building should be, like door size and all that stuff. Now we're going to start with the flooring here and make it wood planks and we got a nice brown color make it anchored so it stays in place and name this floor i'm going to be organizing everything giving it names and grouping it into certain stuff so it's all organized easy to change later on and then i'm going to go ahead and make a outside brick design so you know it's a little elevated for the house and all that so i'm going to do like a cobblestone brick and it's kind of black it looks really neat actually it's going to turn out really nicely and i'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and put it around the flooring okay and then I'm going to scale it and make sure it fits in really well. But duplicating is a big part and makes things really efficient when you're making buildings and you want to be pretty efficient. It's just using duplicate tool is really, you know, helpful a lot. So anyways, yeah, I'm just going to do this and group them together for the outside brick design. So that's all grouped in together and, you know, organized like I want it to be. Now I'm going to make the wall and I'm going to make it blue. It's going to be a nice blue house and it's going to have a different wood. I don't want to do wood planks for everything. So it's going to be wood for the walls. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate it and put it on the other side as well. So apologize if I have a low energy in this video. I'm going to try my best to sound energized and all that. But, you know, it's a pretty long video and it's doing a time lapse and giving you a quick, you know, summary of what I did for this house. Now I'm going to go ahead and just make all the walls here. And I'm also going to do the ceiling, which I named roof at, at this point. And then I'm going to choose a color. It actually took me quite a bit of time. I clipped it out. But then I'm going to go ahead and make it look nice. OK, so the ceiling. You're not going to be able to see it from the top of the house. Obviously, I'm going to actually make a cover for it and have it match the color of the walls. I wanted the ceiling to be white and then this top part is going to be, you know, on top of the ceiling, which you're only going to see from the outside, which is also going to be blue to make it fit in. OK, and after that, we're going to go ahead and start making the door for the house. We're going to make the steps right now because, you know, the house is elevated and we're going to have it match the outside brick design. That's what I called it. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but. I just started calling it so that's what i'm gonna call it uh then we're gonna make the steps and you can see i'm using my character to get a good idea of how big the door should be which is really important because you don't want to have a door too big or too small because i've made that mistake in the past so always use a ring when you're making buildings and stuff because you can kind of you know forget how big it should be and all that so yeah i'm just moving the wall around and duplicating parts so we can just make room for the door here and i'm also going to make the door frame this is what i'm calling it and it's also going to be kind of black similar to the outside brick which I, that's what I called it. And as you can see, I'm just going to duplicate it and have a great outline for the door for the house. So it looks really neat. Then I'm going to duplicate that part and put it on the other side. So this is the door frame I'm doing right now. And uh, now I'm going to do a piece for the top as well. Also, I'm going to make sure that it's even and stuff and try to make it, you know, spaced out and even as possible. And after you do that, we're going to go ahead and make the door here, which I'm just going to make it so your character can just walk right through it. I'm not going to scripting and stuff i know there's people that can make it so it opens and closes but i'm not going to do that for this video so anyways i'm going to turn off the can collide in property so that way we can just walk right through the door character can do that and also want to make the doorknob which you also will be able to go through as well because it can collide on this will also be off and i'm going to probably give this a gold doorknob i was trying to figure out what i want to do for the doorknob different materials and stuff but eventually i came to a decision to make the doorknob like this and then i used my rig and then realized the doorknob needed to be a little lower which that's why it's great to have the rig so you make it more realistic to the roblox care now we're gonna go ahead and get started with making the lighting for the house for the inside so we can easily see because the cast shadow and all that is making it dark inside the house so we're gonna make it look like it, there's lights in it but you know realistically this is not how it should look for a house so in the future we will change this to have real lights that we can see but for now i'm gonna do transparent lighting which the characters won't be able to see where the light source is coming from. But I just give it point light and all that. And so now the inside of the house is bright and it looks pretty great. And this will work for now. But there is going to be a part two and a part three where I make the house even better over time. So I also added another frame to the door, which is the bottom part. So it looks more realistic because I forgot to add that part. Now it looks better in my opinion. So when we're walking through the door, there's a bottom piece for the frame. Now we're going to go ahead and make room for a window. So I'm going to have a blue house with black bricks and a black wooden outline for the doors and windows so i'm actually going to copy the one wooden black frame from the door and take it out and make it for a window so that way it's just easily done so we don't have to make something from scratch we can already go off of something and that way we also just keep the same design for the house and make it pretty you know good looking 
that way things just look pretty similar and you know they all have a pretty similar design so also i'm going to make the window and it's going to be glass material and i'm going to have a bit of a transparency and stuff and that way it's an actual like window that we can look through and we'll get a good idea i'm just trying to make it so you know it's not completely out like the frame is and all that so the frame kind of sticks out a little bit and then we're just making sure it's the right transparency and after that we're actually going to duplicate that window and use it again because we're, we're going to want a couple more windows in the house so we're actually going to make room for that i decided i was going to put two more windows on the other side the back side of the house and the only thing i did wrong is that that you know the windows aren't equally like spaced out or anything so that's probably one thing i messed up on but i kind of like to have the house a little bit you know not too even and all that so it's a little wacky but i like it that way it's my little design i guess so you know it's fine uh so anyways i'm just making room for the window and all that and you can see this corner piece doesn't look that great but we're actually going to come back to it later and make it look better now i'm going to go ahead and put in the second window which i'm just moving the wall around and making more parts of the wall that way it just has duplicated parts and that way we just make it fit in really well so like i said the duplicate tool is really awesome and it's overpowered for roblox builders makes things so much easier and anyways we're gonna go ahead and start making the roof for the house the actual roof so i am gonna make the roof color black so it matches the rest of the house i'm also gonna make the house a two-story in the future because i realized that the roof is pretty big compared to the rest of the house so yeah what i'm doing now is i'm duplicating the wedge which is making the roof i'm gonna have two parts one facing the other so it's kind of like mirrored against the other one and that way they're, hopefully they're the same size that way it covers the top of the house you know completely it makes it look great so hopefully we can make this work out and I, I try to make it you know good as possible and i turn it around and put it up against the other one and I, i'm just gonna move them together and make sure they're both spaced out so there's a bit of the wedge coming off on both sides it actually looks pretty great we're almost done but now we're gonna go ahead and use that outside brick or whatever i called it and make corner parts for the house so it's gonna be going up the corner sides in that way it makes the house even look better because there was some parts like i mentioned before where it looked kind of weird looking because i was messing with the wall and adding the windows in but anyways i'm going to put these around each corner of the house and makes it look even better in my opinion i'm also a great minecraft builder because i kind of do a similar house design with you know the wood log going for the corners and then the wood planks for the main wall and like some stone at the bottom so it is pretty similar to how i build houses in roblox studio so you know, I learned how to build in Roblox Studio and Minecraft, so I feel like it's just... And I pretty much grew up playing those games and actually using Roblox Studio. I never really made a great Roblox game, but I just learned how to build over time, so I guess I kind of have the skill. I'm not going to say that I'm a great builder, but I am going to say that I'm somewhat a good builder in Roblox Studio. I have some experience. Now I'm just grouping some of the stuff that I made. And I'm also going to make sure the parts don't touch each other because there is some parts that collided and all that. So when I was making the windows and such... I had in the door, I was having parts touch another and they're kind of like going into each other. As you can see, I'm kind of fixing that. So, you know, you don't really see it when you're looking at the house because sometimes you kind of see the parts, you know, on top of each other, if that makes any sense. I don't know how to explain it that well, but I'm just scaling it so they're not touching too much to another part of the wall. So the wall parts are more separated and not going inside each other too much. That way the house actually will look nicer, especially when you're playing the game. So now I'm going to be doing some more organizing. I'm just going to be grouping stuff together of the house and just making everything go in. I'm just going to group all the wall stuff and make it walls. And I'm also going to group the flooring and the roof and ceiling and put that together. I just didn't know what the name it, so I just did top and bottom parts. And then I'm actually going to take all of it and group it together and name it house. And then I'm going to make sure it's anchored as well. And it took me like 30 minutes to make this house, so it's not that bad. I did pretty good. And then I realized one of the corner frames was sticking inside the house. So I had to fix that. I had to fix some of the outside brick frames. So actually, it looks pretty neat. I think this is a pretty basic house and it looks really nice. And as you can see, I'm playtesting in Roblox Studio. So I'm actually getting a real feel of how the house is while I'm playing Roblox because that's pretty important as well. So as you can see, I'm playing my Roblox character and it's really nice. But I think that I should make the house a little taller, even for the first floor, because I feel like I should be able to jump and not hit the ceiling with my head. So I'm going to fix that in the next part. So one of the benefits of organizing your model and all that stuff is that it's easy to change it when you need to. Like, for example, I'm making a different variant of the house because I want my multiple houses for example i can just go ahead and duplicate the house and change the colors to make it different red walls and gray roof and frames that's pretty much how you do that so i hope you guys found this video extremely helpful there'll be a model in the description below so you guys can go ahead and get this house model if you want it and hopefully we do a part two make sure to go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel and smashing the like button and until next time goodbye